this war shop. This is place I'm moving and it's time for another episode review. This time I will be reviewing the famous episode Brian the Closer. But before I dive in, there is one thing that you should keep in mind. I no longer like Family Guy. In fact, I now fucking hate this show. The reason for that is because there are far more bad episodes of the show than there are good ones. And today I will be reviewing another one of them. So, anyway, without further ado, let's dive in. The episode begins with Brian and Peter watching television, and that's incredibly fucking boring. Nothing of substance to talk about here. Moving on. Anyway, after that boring city sword, Peter Griffin wants to get Brian's rope so badly. Peter, if you want that rope so badly, why don't you just buy a fucking new one that's just like Brian's? I mean, you have a lot of money, so there is no excuse. And then Peter Griffin ties a rope to Brian's rope and drives with it while Brian is chewing on the rope. Seriously, that's just fucking disgusting. Even a fucking idiot should know that this would hurt Brian. This is not being stupid. This is being a careless asshole. Not only that, it also makes Peter a very sick cunt here. But he's the only character in the episode who is being a cunt. What exactly do I mean by that? Well, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. And then Brian Griffin loses his teeth and he looks very fucking disturbing now and I don't mean in a good way. Now Peter says that he is sorry but I don't buy his apology for a second. He knew this would hurt Brian but went through with it anyway. I don't buy for a second that Peter didn't know because like I said even a fucking idiot should know this. Also Family Guy is supposed to be a comedy show right? Very well, this feels more like a horror show than it feels like a comedy show. I mean seriously, this is far more fucking horrifying than it is funny. Enough to mention fucking sick. Anyway, Brian asks if he can go to a dentist, but unfortunately they can't let him go to a dentist because he is apparently an animal. I have a serious question to ask, why can't Brian just go to a human dentist? I mean, he is a dog, but he is an anthropomorphic dog, meaning that he is a dog that thinks like human. So it makes sense if he goes to a human dentist. The fact that it doesn't cross anyone's mind in this episode is beyond fucking sad. Now Glenn Quagmire does get Brian Griffin an appointment as a dentist. Now Brian should be grateful and thank Glenn Quagmire for that, but that doesn't exactly happen. What do I mean by that? Well, just keep this scene in mind, it will become important later. Anyway, Brian Griffin gets new teeth and because of those new teeth, he is fucking qualified to become a real estate agent. And I gotta say, that's beyond fucking awesome. Anyway, Brian does a fucking successful job trying to sell all those houses. And that is beyond fucking awesome. Keep in mind that this is still a bit episode though. A few things about her that are fucking awesome doesn't change that fact. Now Brian's boss asks him to sell a shit hole. Okay, why the hell would you want to sell anybody a shit hole? Wouldn't a better idea to be to fucking destroy it? Oh, and Brian is about to use some tactics that really pisses me the fuck off. And then Brian Griffin shows a fails advertisement for a shit hole. The fact that Brian Griffin is scamming Glenn Quagmire pisses me off so much. The reason why it pisses me off, well, I will be getting into detail on that later on in this review. Another thing that I have to point out is the fact that not even the fucking cutaway gags in this episode are good. They are not funny and the worst one of all is when Peter Griffin harms his own nose at a job he doesn't work at. Seriously, that's not funny in the slightest. And this is the first time ever where I criticize a fucking cut of a gag because normally I find them funny and have no issues with them. 
But yeah, I really have an issue with this cut of a gig. And the rest of them as well, since none of them are funny or memorable. Well, Glenn Quagmire finally gets to the house that Primer is trying to sell. He realizes that the house is a shit hole. There are many reasons why Brian screwing up Glenn Quagmire pisses me off to a massive degree and I'm gonna go over them right now. First of all, it's thanks to Glenn Quagmire that Brian got new teeth. If it wasn't for him, Brian would never get new fucking teeth. So Brian should be thankful and reward Glenn Quagmire for doing this favor for him. I mean it's very rare that Glenn Quagmire actually does something for Brian since Glenn Quagmire fucking hates his guts. Second off, that money that Glenn Quagmire got is money that he didn't get easily. In fact, he will never get that much fucking money ever again. Seriously, fuck that cunt Brian Griffin, fuck him to hell. This is hands down one of the worst things that Brian Griffin has ever done. And that's really saying a lot as he has done a lot of scummy shit over the course of the show. It really is sad that the character who used to be good in the first few seasons of the show has become such a cunting scumbag. You know what else pisses me the fuck off? That's the fact that Brian Griffin is trying to hide from Glenn Quagmire so he doesn't have to give back the money. I mean seriously, that's such a scummy thing to do and Glenn Quagmire should, by all rights, sue the fucking company that Brian works for. And I personally think Brian should be fired because what he's doing now is totally fucking unacceptable. Now when Glenn Quagmire finds Brian at the motel, Brian admits that he has been a total cunt for the past couple of years. You know, this would be a good scene if Brian Griffin was actually being honest here. But the thing is, he isn't being honest here at all. In fact, he's only saying that to fucking store. I seriously think that Brian Griffin deserves to be in fucking jail for this scummy action. And then Glenn Quagmire beats Brian up. And I gotta say, that is satisfying as all hell. In fact, it's probably my favorite part of the episode because Brian Griffin really fucking deserves to be beaten up after the scummy country thing he did throughout the episode. And the episode ends with Brian Griffin being back without teeth. Now I would feel sorry for him, but I don't wanna know why. Because he really fucking deserved this. Now in the very next Family Guy episode, Brian Griffin is back with his normal teeth. Which means that either this episode didn't happen or he got his teeth back off screen. If it's the latter, I just gotta say this. He doesn't deserve to get his teeth back at all. In fact, he deserves to be in fucking jail because what he did to Glenn Quagmire is fucking inexcusable. What a scummy cunt. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. I would say that this is one of the worst episodes of Family Guy, but I'm not sure if I can say that because there are a shit ton of bad episodes of the show. In fact, there are far more bad episodes of the show than there are good ones. What Brian did in this episode is one of the scummiest things that he has ever done. And for that I'm going to give this episode rating two middle fingers. And yeah, I'm officially no longer a fan of Family Guy. In fact, I now fucking hate this show. I don't know why the hell it took me so long to change my opinion on Family Guy. But yeah, I'm no longer a fan. In fact, you can expect a lot more negative reviews coming from me. In fact, I think that's gonna be far more fucking common than positive reviews. Well, guys, that's all I'm gonna say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.